Wouldn't it be nice if you could move through objects, doors and other items that would always get in your way? Like those train doors that just close on you before you could enter. Or the douchebag who thinks he owns the pavement. Let's explore phasing. Phasing through objects has been done several times over the years in the movies or TV shows. The Flash, Ghostbusters, X-Men, and heroes. But is it actually possible to face through objects in real life? The answer? Not quite. You see, the premise of phasing is to be able to control your body's molecular structure to move so fast that it becomes a wave in the electromagnetic spectrum. That will explain how the flash can pass through objects. However, unlike what we see here, you probably won't be able to see the flash when he's literally turned into an electromagnetic wave. That being said, it is still highly unlikely that when your molecules reform into a solid, that most of your body parts are still there. You see, even as a wave, when you pass through an object, depending on what kind of wave you are and the density of the object, parts of the wave could be blocked while others are allowed to pass through. Take this piece of paper for example. When I shine the torchlight on this paper, only some of the light passes through the paper, while majority of it is still blocked. So, unless the flash was vibrating at a wavelength of a gamma wave, which is less than 10 to the power of minus 11 meters, he is probably going to have to leave several molecules behind. Ouch. That's not to say the flash cannot vibrate at that kind of speed though. He is, after all, the fastest man alive. I'm just saying, every time he phases through an object, it had better be done perfectly or he goes flat. That's all we have for this week's Explorer. Thank you very much for watching and please do leave a like and comment down below to tell us what kind of topic we want to explore next and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.